new tonight, a new push to further protect teen drivers, new restrictions, possibly when it comes to driving at night. A new CDC report highlighted some of the biggest risk factors. Thank you, Amy Hudak found out firsthand what teens are up against. Also new tonight, a new push to further protect teen drivers. New restrictions, possibly when it comes to driving at night. A new CDC report highlighted some of the biggest risk factors. Thank you, Wayne's Amy Hudak found out firsthand what teens are up against on the road. Chinny and Don, nighttime is one of the most deadly times for anybody to be out on the road. And one third of all fatal accidents involving teens happen at night. In the state of New York, there is now a push to make sure that young drivers are better prepared for any situation they might encounter. And again, everyone's tailgating. I got a car over here blocking the business, business driveway. Can't block the business driveway. Johnny Scott has spent his life teaching people how to stay safe behind the wheel. Turning too fast, illegal window tint. This one turned right, went to the wrong lane. Loud music. This one turned left, wrong lane. Another left turn, wrong lane. Another he says turn. teens are up against more than ever, and New York State needs to take note. Studies have shown that the, the brain isn't fully developed until 121. So with all the things that we see on the road, it's very dangerous. Not enough experience. Drivers only need 15 hours of nighttime driving before they can get a license. It's not a lot, but that's, this is what's required to, to, to take the road test, and this is why we're having all these accidents. He says that number needs to be closer to 100. How many things happen at night? People run out, animals run out, people on bikes, dark clothes, running out, can't see them. Jada Guile says she needs all the hours she can get. Because I'm still learning how to drive myself, so yeah. Do you think the majority of teens that are learning how to drive are getting on the road just completely inexperienced? More than most. Danielle Bay says parents should spend time teaching their kids safe nighttime driving habits. So I think night driving should be good and should be encouraged. I think that you should just pay attention to your surroundings and drive safely and don't text at all. Johnny Scott said he is optimistic that New York State will adopt some tougher laws when it comes to how many hours teens need behind the wheel before they can get a license. Live in Henrietta, Amy Hudak, 3